Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. Back on our little goofy water platform here. The only thing I've really done between episodes is I did a couple metal runs. So as you can see, I've got plenty of metal cooking up here. Uh, this should hopefully just keep going as we're doing other things. We're just going to fly back to base for now and just kind of come back and check this later. We'll have to find a way to get it from here to the other base. But either I can use Donkler to bring it over or if I can craft a boat... But I'm thinking more of a motorboat just because it'll be faster and it'll have more durability. That I can actually get out here, get the metal, and get back home to safety. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. But for now, just letting that go will be amazing. I'm going to need all that metal to craft these things up going forward. I'm almost back to base and I can still see that thing over there. It's crazy that when it's cooking something, it just never actually disappears compared to everything else. And there it is, the base, in all its glory. Am I going to make it? If I could make it over here with one thing of stamina, that'd be amazing. Looks like I'm going to. Nice! I gotta tame that turtle up before it uh, despawns. That would be unfortunate. You don't want that. Looks so empty here without that thing. Oh well. It's fine. It's off doing a lot more work than it would have done over here. Have I even unlocked the Ungram for a motorboat yet? No, I have not. That was 57. It requires black pearls to make. Oh, yeah, that explains why I haven't made it before. It is pretty expensive, but I do feel like that would be our best bet to uh, avoid losing all our metal out there. What else did I have me learn? Oh, metal foundations. That's fine. I figured I would place my beehive out here, kind of on the center, and I'll have the other two when I get those kind of along the other ones there, but you have to make sure when you place your beehive, that's exactly where you want it to go, because once you place it, it cannot be picked back up. If you do, it will break, and the bee is essentially dead. So, you gotta make sure that that is exactly where you want it to go. Perfect. Uh, I would look into it, but I don't want it to... I don't want them to attack me, because they will definitely do that. Let me go grab the... Actually, I think... I might be able to use just full ghillie. That might work too. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting stung by anything. So I do want to pull some rare flowers just to kind of keep this going. It will still generate without it, but what will happen is the health will go down and they will essentially, like the hive will end up breaking and it's the same as kind of starving to death. So we don't want that. So let the beehive get up and running so we'll have access to the kibble when that uh, has made some. How are these doing right now? Are they done? They are. So all the berries are growing, so we should have access to those too, which is nice. We should be able to pull for any of the uh, ingredients for whatever we're trying to make over here in the cooking pot going forward. So if I were to pull for one of these, I'm missing the honey. That's the only thing. But we have everything else. Nice. So I'm thinking what we're going to do today, and this, the weather has kind of decided to help us out with this, is I do want to go find a mate for Mios. It has been a long time coming, and we uh, failed last time, but I think now we should be able to pull this off. I'm just going to grab ourselves some more meat because I'm a little bit low. I'm going to take Mios with us too, so I should be able to use him for fire protection. Is he carrying a lot, by the way? He mostly just has meat on him and a couple little things here and there. Okay, I don't need these, though. You really shouldn't try to trap them. Unless you're trying to relocate them somewhere else so you can get to easier uh, prey, essentially. I'm thinking, how heavy are we right now? I don't think I'm going to need my other set of armor to, to be brought with me. So I'm actually going to place this up onto my mannequin. It's where I've been putting my armor... Like, the set that I'm currently wearing, just kind of anytime I'm not wearing it. Very good. Just kind of a nice, easy place to remember where it is, so I don't have to sort through all the armor to get to it. Uh, and I'm not going to take my tools. Should I? Nah, I won't take the tools. We'll put them away. Okay, I am going to bring a cryopod, assuming I have an empty one. Ooh, I don't have an empty cryopod. What could I leave back here? So I can keep one with me. I'm going to go put Menace up by the bed. I feel like he is, he is not a big fan of being trapped in this little cryopod. So we'll just kind of put him over here. 
we may enjoy this a lot better. Okay, well now that we have everything that we should need to get this going, I just need to hop onto a flyer and go on over to the island. Doing good, Terry, not carrying anything? Okay, cool. I think I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you guys so much for supporting this series so much, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, every time that you guys have anything to say in the comments, any likes or any some new subscriptions really helps with the algorithm for everyone to see the series as well. So I really appreciate all of the support that you've been uh, showing this one so far. And I, I really hope we can keep this going. We've got to land over here just so we don't end up plummeting into the ocean right before the island. I'm really hoping... That since everything's kind of gone through a dino wipe, that we'll have a uh, pretty clear opportunity for a high-level female. Um, and I've seen on other people's videos that the storm seems to affect the wild ones, but not tamed ones. So when I was asking before, like, well, I thought that it did it this way. I, like, I guess it's, it does. Just only for the ones on the ground. And not for the ones... Well, only the wild ones. Only the wild ones. Ooh. I think the thing about coming out here at night, though, or oh yeah, during a storm, it's only level 25. Okay, we're definitely going to try to take care of this one. Especially since it's raining, they can't really do a lot of the fire stuff. What is going on? Okay. Oh, is it saying that, like, it's trying to have me tame it, huh? So they've done enough damage to it for it to be ready. Yeah, that hurt quite a bit. I actually don't know if there was a number there, but uh, having that explode on me is not fun. I should probably try to finish them off using the crossbow in the future. I mean, it seems like there's a good amount of creatures on this island right now, so I might be able to pull this off if I can find one. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, it was fighting a car char. Hello. That's what I was hearing. Oh, that would have been an awful moment to run out of stamina. It's only level 20, though. So, I mean, I would have probably survived three hits. <laughs> See, this is coming up over to where my little base is. If that thing's nearby, our temporary base... There's just a Rex there now. 35. Feels pretty familiar. Coming up on that spot that we tried to tame the last one. I see one over here. It's a male, though. Only level 40. Okay. Scorpion to deal with. Terry's got this just fine. Ooh, you know what I just thought about? I wonder... I mean, you wouldn't be able to swap them to your shoulder, but I wonder if you had... A female pyromane on your shoulder, as you were riding one, if it would have the mate boost. That's interesting to think about. Not a good sign so far, the fact that I'm already kind of on the opposite side and I haven't really ran into one that I'm trying to tame. There's a 95 over there. Didn't see that right away, but... Still not high enough level f to uh, justify it. For a long time there, I felt like I was getting nothing but like 135s to 150, but now everything that I'm looking at, well, that I want to tame anyway, they've decided to only give me lower levels. Which, I mean, I guess is the standard. Anything you're looking for, they won't give you. You kind of have to stop looking for something and then you'll find it. What's that? A female 40? Oh, for a second I thought it said 140. My eyes tricked me. I've been wishing too hard. <laughs> There's a female 140. It is up here by the red obelisk, though. I don't know where I'm going to try to tame this thing. How am I going to do this? <laughs> I was going to land on that. Um, Is there water down here? Or is that just a spine in the ground? Can I somehow lure you somewhere where we can try to tame you? There's water this way. 
But where exactly? Is it up here? There's the water. Is there a direct path from that location with the pyromane? It looks like there is. I could probably lure her over here. Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be super iffy. But then, if I do, what's the plan for taming it? Where are creatures to kill? Are there some down here? I don't see anything down here. And I'm out of stamina. Now is then everything's gonna spawn in and get me. Just wait. Well, there's a saber tooth. And it's baby. I would not really hold this over to get this thing down to this, like, to the beach where there's more stuff. There's another one over there. That's 65. So yeah, the 140 is what? Directly underneath me? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, male. Pyromane. Uh-oh. Are you stuck in that hole? No, you're not. Okay, can I get your attention this direction? Oh, you might actually be stuck in the hole. In the lava. Really, now? We don't want that. Come on. Let's get you out of there. Whoop! Did you make it? No. Hello? Come on out. I may have to let her hit me with the jump. There we go. Ow. Okay, though. Okay, she's out. She's out. Only one out of ten. If I can lure her to the beach, there might be a better chance. Ooh. Sorry, Terry. It's for the greater good, bud. We all know this. You're doing just fine. It's only tiny ticks. Okay, now that's gone. There she is. There's her attention. She's gonna follow. Oh, she tried again. Okay, okay, okay. What level's this one, by the way? 125. Okay, well. Remember the 140 past stuff? Ah, the 125 got me. And now that one. So we do have 2 out of 10, so the ticks are a little bit more. I'm gonna have to try to, uh... I really wish the Tyrannodon could dip into the water without kicking me off. Oh man, this is like the one beach you don't want anything to- Oh no, that was a direct hit. Is that- which one is this? That's the 125 as well. Oh, Terry, no. This is bad. Can I, like, put you into a cryopod when you're on fire? Is that gonna put you out? I'm dying too, oh my god. So I was still taking a lot of damage. I mean, that was a direct hit. That was not just a small, partial hit. Come here. And yeah, we're both hurting pretty bad. So there's just a Carno there. And again, that is just a 125? Yes. Yes, it is. Carno's not going to cut it. You're going to need a bunch of creatures. So to make sure it's not dead, where's the 140? There she is. If we go this way, are there more creatures to kill? I'm going to gamma up because I can't see anything. We've got a Rex here, which would be good. Thing is, if it and if the counter gets down to be like the last ten seconds, you do lose effectiveness, which is not ideal. So if I kill this Rex, and then I go this way, is there more stuff? Oh, 
So now that we know where she is, I may need to regroup. I've heard of this method of using a boat, and you can travel them to a different place to, to end up killing the creatures there. What was that one? 95, okay. Just had to make sure it wasn't going to be a 150 or something. Um, I may have to do something like that, just so that I can get this one somewhere else. There's only the Rex and the Carno nearby, and that's not going to be enough to tame this thing. Of course. <laughs> that's even worse. That's that's even more of a, I don't know how it would get you down. Okay, well, we're back at the base for now. I think the plan is, I'm actually going to make a different raft. I don't want to use the one that I have my stuff on currently. So we're going to craft up another raft. And we'll kind of deploy it over on the island or nearby the island. And I'll build something on it that I can use to kind of keep it busy. What? Where is this? Is it underneath? Do we have a Nicthiornis downstairs? Trying to attack our stuff. Hello? I don't see anything. I heard it. Where'd it go? Gonna check if I have any foundations already left. Probably not. I've been using the majority of the wooden foundations, or the uh, stone foundations for other things. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's only three there. That's not going to be enough. Okay, so foundations. I want to make like eight of these. I've got a bunch of metal walls. I might use the metal walls just because I don't have to make anything new there. Um, how many am I going to need? I don't know, but I'll take it all with me. I'm going to place some more of this stuff into Meos just so I don't have to carry it myself. It's a little bit lighter on my shoulders. And then we've got... I'll take a door. And then I want to take... Do I want to do a wooden one? No. I want to make a stone one. Fence foundation. So from what I've seen, I should hopefully have enough here to make a little trap for a uh, pyromane on the boat. So I should take... I could be able to take it to another island where there will be more creatures to... Uh, to fight. So we'll see if that is the case. Um, I think for safety's sake... Oh, he's got a lot of stuff on him, too. Um, I heard that. Again. I don't see it anywhere. What? I went underneath and nothing was around. How did that dodo get in here? I don't see it down here being annoying. Is it in here still? Oh no, it's not. Well, that sucks. I was just checking for the otter and it seems to have disappeared. Maybe when I was out of render distance, the uh, structures kind of disappeared and it was able to book it. Where is this thing? Oh, there it is. There's that frickin' dummy. Get out of my base. You shouldn't be in here. And off we go. Ooh. First I'm gonna check that. Anything of interest in this yellow drop? Hmm? What you got? What you... Hello? Thanks. Um, C4 charges... Uh, it's a bunch of... Kind of heavier things, honestly. C4 charges, charges will be nice. Um, I may end up just grinding up some of this stuff later on. So we're going to place down the boat over here, and I'm going to try to build my little trap on it, but I may as well check the yellow drop while I'm here. More pieces, actually. Interesting. Um, I might be a little bit too heavy with all this stuff, Terry. Can you carry some of this for me, sir? Thank you. So we are just a, like just on the opposite side of this. Actually, I'm going to go land over there. Since our female that we're after is on the north side, if I can at least be over on the smaller islands just on the west side of this place, 
I might have a little better chance of not getting jumped by Elite Sickness. Oh, these islands are kind of higher up. Um... I could probably still make something work on that little ledge right at the top of Terry's head there. See a good amount of mantas underneath there. I don't think there's anything else though, so we might be okay. If anything, I can go to that one across the way. But I think this should be fine. I'll leave Terry t uh, parked here for now. And then I can get the boat off Mios. Place that on four. Alrighty. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this sail. We don't need that. So when you're building on a boat, you got to make sure you can leave a space open for you to access the actual boat itself. Why does that say I can actually place that there? Well, let me place that there anyway. Um, so what I'm doing here is I left this one to actually pick back up and I'll be able to access that after the fact. And then I think I can connect these together using this and place a door on the back. Question is, will I actually be able to do this? That is an interesting little separate part of the boat, which I did not expect to have happen. Okay, um, I'm going to see. I need to put up the walls now. And then, for the sake of keeping me safe in the middle, uh, I might do a secret door there, and then just actually have closable things here. And then I've got the ceiling that I brought, which again, I think is on Mios. Oh wait, no, I put it on Terry, didn't I? Yes, I did. Give me that ceiling. I've got to be able to close up the top so I don't get attacked. And then I'm going to put that door on the back. Not exactly how I had planned for this to go, but having something here is interesting. The plan now, though, is I need to get the Pyromane on here and trying to attack me inside of this. And uh, once it's in here, I can get... It's somewhere else to a different island that should be able to be easier to tame them on. So I'm going to kind of do this real fast. And we're going to move our raft. I'm going to double check under the ocean here real quick. Make sure I'm not going to get attacked the moment I move. Uh, let's see. Maybe what I really should do is double check that any of these islands on this side and see if they have anything or if I'm if I'm gonna have to follow the whole thing back and go to a different area so let me check on Terry real quick and do a little bit of scouting before I just head out well definitely glad that I checked doesn't seem like there's a single creature out on these uh, beaches other than some ichthyornis and that doesn't help. So I will probably need to go around and kind of get them over on the other ones down to the south. Closer to the mainland. If we could do the ones in the water we'd be fine. Got plenty of Zyphactinus trying to kill stuff. Okay, I just see a shark under the water here. Nothing to be too concerned about right away. I'm going to leave Terry over here, and I can always come over and grab him again um, when we need to. So I'll just kind of put him a little bit off to the side so hopefully nothing... I mean, if the Pyromane is on our boat, hopefully it won't jump to attack it, but attack him from there. But uh, we'll try not to get too close. Woo! Alright, so we're going to go up to the north side of the island where we saw this 140 female pyromane, and hopefully we can get her trapped in our boot. I was hearing some noises of something attacking, and I thought we had something on us. Luckily, that does not seem to be the case. Oh, yep. It was just that little spot right next to that. I don't know why that's, th that's like that. Just realized, since the 125 is down in the water... 
That may be the one that tries to come into me into the boat first. I don't know though. Oh my god. That was what I was worried about. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, dude. What level are you? Are you the alpha or are you standard? Am I? Oh my god. It's just a female lead sickness. Oh my god. That's my first encounter of one of those on this entire playthrough. Which is insane, by the way. Because it is. There's so much ocean, and I you wouldn't think that I would have to wait this long for that to happen. Hmm. <laughs> Starting to feel like I maybe should have brought some of my sea creatures to attack that thing. But if I keep hugging the the side here, maybe we'll be fine. Oh, I can't be too close to that. I have to go out there for that? I don't know how many arrows it would take to kill with my bow. I feel like it would be a lot more than it would seem. Ugh. It's not coming back, right? <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, I think we got away from it. The, the daylight starts as soon as I get around the corner where we are trying to go. Perfect timing. Very happy about that. I want to check under the ocean yet again because that was actually terrifying. I'm surprised that we got away from that and unscathed. Not gonna lie. As far as I know, there could be one just right over here. Big ol' whales. Another reason I want the motorboat. They are much faster, apparently. And the only one they wouldn't be able to outrun is an alpha. Oh, there's that weird camera thing again. Did I catch a coelacanth? I think I did. So I think that other female is still over here. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Stuck in the water. So I wonder if I can make this work at all. We'll definitely have to ride on Mios. That was definitely kind of the plan there. Uh, let's see. Can't ride on him there? Why is that? Oh, it's because I was going to hit something? Is that the deal? Yes. So pretty much what the plan here is. Is it supposed to jump at me and land in the boat? And then after it lands in the boat... Then I take it somewhere else. Yeah? I hope that I built this big enough, actually. I should have probably tamed... I probably should have tested that. I mean, it should be able to fit here. I think it just has to come down to, uh... Being a little bit lucky on the timing. But I'm hoping that if I'm on Mios, I'll have the fire protection. So if I can just get her attention... Hello? Still after me? No, I think she backed off. Oh, now she's on me. Huh. I think I need to try to, like, lure it around. No, I don't need you on me. Dumb Carno. There's also a chance that I should have probably put like a... What's the word? I probably should have put like a, a ramp on there or something. Possibly. Oh, she's not in the boat. Oh. There is Zyphacnus. Cool. That's not scary to have happen in the water at all. Run. 
Run, female. Get out of there. <laughs> I may need to move the boat. She's pooping. Oh, she didn't land on the boat. Come on. Get in here. Maybe I should have removed that and then put it back on after she was in. You're still on fire. So are you going to be able to... Uh... All right, we got her in the boat. Now I just need to get into the boat myself. And we gotta take her somewhere else. Oh no, what did you do that for? Oh. No. Don't do that. Now you're gonna get attacked by the Zyphactinus. That's not what we want. Why would you do that? That is very much not the plan. Oh, don't break the door. They're not supposed to be smart enough to go for the door right away. <laughs> How about over here? You stuck? Oh! I popped her up into the boat. That was, I'm going to say, definitely planned. And not just a crazy coincidence. And we're going to go for it. <laughs> Considering she can't really get out of this on purpose. I don't know what the plan is when we get to another island, but uh, I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Oh, now she just jumped right out again. Don't fight anybody else. Just come to me. I can actually get in here. Get back in the boat. <laughs> you love the boat. Never leave again. Until, you know, it's time to tame her. She still seems to know that the door is a weak point, which is not cool for me. Okay, in the boat yet again. Actually in a good spot. Let's hopefully keep her this way. Just keep trying to attack me. That's fine. You can try all you like. Now we just gotta go kinda toward the lead sickness and hope that it's actually not chilling down here. We can't really go into the wall like we did before because it'll definitely push her out, but... Oh, no. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. There was a shallow point over here. Oh, man. This is stressful in every way, shape, and form because of that thing. I don't think it's still following me, though, actually. We might be able to at least get back to where I parked Terry. Maybe I should just cross and then go fight stuff over in the snow. She had to poop. I she she attacked so much that she had to poop. I think I will just because there's a lot more landmass this way. Just don't get focused on Terry. That's all I gotta ask. And if I'm riding on her back. Then I shouldn't have to be worried about being cold. And mammoths should be pretty good for taming them as well because of the amount of health they've got. But as we learned last time, or a few times ago I suppose, we really don't want to run into... Oh, that's one thing we definitely didn't want to run into. That's not cool. I thought we had gotten away from those. Ow! Well... You know, it's fine. We can take one hit. Looks like the raft is still only like a quarter damage, not even a quarter. Okay. Oh no, she fell out! Can I get her back in? Come on, get back in here. 
Don't bite the back again. Come on. Get back in the boat. You love the boat. We all love the boat. Especially that lead sickness that wants to come destroy it. It's only after it because it loves it so much. Fighting as I fact in this? Oh god. Can we just, like, push you back onto the boat again? Magically? Like before? Yeah! That's cool. That's what we want. Stay on the boat. Stay on the boat. <laughs> oh, what? I'm on fire in here. You know what? That's fine. She's back on the boat. No problems. This fire will stop in 20 seconds and I should be alive. <laughs> I tried this method because I thought it would be easier, but she's definitely been giving me some problems. And, for some reason, it's looking like there's nothing over here? Like there's no creatures over here for some reason? Why is that? Oh, there's a mammoth. Now I'm seeing some stuff. That's where we need to go. So what I've got to do is I've got to get her somehow out of the boat on purpose. Take a couple shots at her, and then we need to go and take care of some of them. So, let's try to do this on purpose now. After I've done it on accident a few times. There we go. That's a way to do it. Alright, uh, do this. Are you ready to be tamed? Now you are. Go! Fight the rhino. We're gonna get a perfect tame on this 140 female. There should be no reason that we don't. Alright, that's the... Hold the flame. Okay, cool. Right, that one's dead as a baby. That works too. Extra creature. Hold the flame, because it's trying to get in the water. Silly little rhino knows what it's doing. Okay, and then whenever that bar gets full, you want to pull the flame in, because it's not going to get us any more than that. Same thing as if it dies. Saw the mammoth over here. Great. These are some higher level mammoths, but we should be okay. Pull that flame in. It's actually perfect to have so many different flames coming in at once to tame this quicker. As long as she doesn't die, which I sh don't think we have any problems, like any potential worries on that. But if we just pull the flames in, she'll heal too. Okay, maybe I do have to worry about that a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's go. little risky there for a moment but I think we're still good here hundred percent effectiveness still nice 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 pull that flame in for health so we're at half now nice have health she's totally fine on taming okay 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 Let's try to get as much fire from this one as possible. Oh, there's a baby wolf here. Left control in this tame. Perfect female pyromane 140 tame. I don't really have a good name right off the bat, but let's just hurry up and kind of do this real fast. Does she, like I was asking earlier, does she actually have a mate boost? She does have a mate boost, even when I just have Mio on my shoulder. That's cool. I do like that.
definitely worth the ordeal of bringing her all the way over here and dealing with this freaking scary lead sick this. Uh, but we made it. That's amazing. Mammoths were a little bit dicey there too, but I'm going to take a picture of her stats so we can compare to what Mios had and see if we can combine these later on. So that actually was a fully and entirely perfect tame. Normally you lose at least one level when you're taming something, but uh, that is actually entirely perfect. And I love it. Alright, Terry, let's go. I'm actually going to probably park this a little further up the beach. Something that's even more accessible to my, uh, to my little respawn shack there. It'll kind of be a tool that we leave over here to try to tame more pyromanes in case we want to. Hopefully, with the ones that we've got, we won't need to, but you never know what ones you might find. Okay, we finally officially have made it back to base with both the pyromanes in tow. So we've got Mios here. Which I'm actually going to just toss off and then tell him to transform now. Very good. So then we have Mios, and then we've got our new female companion for him. Very nice. Both just kind of the standard colors, it looks like. But honestly, this will do. And I'll be able to mutate them and hopefully get some crazy colors on them from here. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can end up... Uh, breeding out of these guys, but I do need to find the initial photo of Mios' stats so I can see what which one has the best to end up getting the perfect parents, like we had done with the other ones before. And then, uh, hopefully, get some crazy, crazy colors going from there. I may actually even use... So I'll, I need to hatch up a bunch of the eggs for the uh, aloes to try to see if I have more mutations in here. There are plenty, as you can see. So it's not like I have any shortage. I have to make sure these guys aren't running because I don't want them to be overfilled. Okay, no. I did shut them off. Um, if these guys run out of slot caps and uh, they keep breeding, the eggs will either go to waste or, in the other circumstance, they'll hatch. And if they hatch, then we have a big mess on our hands. I have had that a couple times in the past. And hopefully that does not happen again. <laughs> All right, so comparing at the moment, Mios came out as a, at a 218. His health was a 55.20, so he's got better health. His stamina was 13.65, so she has the better stamina at 15.40. The weight, he had 468, which is less, so she's got the 504. And then their melee is pretty much just one point difference. Mios is better at 373 instead of 372. Okay, good to know. Uh, I will try to keep that in mind, and we'll get these guys up and breeding. And then we'll go figure something out to do in the meantime. They are going to have to gestate, so I'm not going to be able to uh, just let them go for a long time. So, we'll see what we can do. Well, I know what I can do. I can finally tame that turtle that's been hanging out down there. Do I have any tranks on me? I got 48. That should be totally fine. And I do wonder, what kibble does the turtle take? So, according to Dododex... I only need six of the blue kibbles here, which I'm going to need everything. I'm going to need to end up putting more water in here. That's going to be the one thing I'm going to have to keep doing. I need to get that industrial cooker today, which I, I won't, but I would love to. Okay. Oh, I see the baby on the ground over here. What level do we have? We've got a 214, which is kind of in between both of their levels because he was a 218. But let's take a look at this baby in general. Come on over here, little guy. Let's get a good look at you. <laughs> the, the, the babies are, are very cute. Hello. How you doing, little dude? Unfortunately, this first one is not what we're after. Oh my god, did that damage the floor? It did not damage the floor. Well, at least they don't have to worry about the bodies going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, how long do I have to wait? 11 minutes. Well, alright. That's fine. You guys can chill over there. I'm going to take this kibble that I've got, and we're going to go tame a turtle down there. There he is. Make sure everyone's on passive. Hey, big guy. You are still the 140? Yes. I'm going to... Pop. Give it a second. Two... I'll just wait until the thing goes away this time. I don't think I have to worry about it dying. Also, according to Dodo Dex, my crossbow here should knock it out in three. Yep. 
<laughs> it's very simple. Very handy. I love it. There's your six kibble. We'll have a turtle soon. I'm going to have to go get myself a high-level female turtle as well. Got to take Loki back upstairs anyway. Holy turtles out here. 95. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, that answer is that. I'm going to have to go make another uh, six kibble, though. I didn't realize Loki did so much damage. That may have been headshots, but still, 321 is good. Um, hello? Dodo Dex said that you would have a thing. What are you doing? Ugh. Why are you losing effectiveness? At least I kept an eye on that. I mean, I, I don't know why that would be off, but that has happened before. I really should be putting one more in each of these, just to be sure. One more than it initially says. That was also a very painful jump. <laughs> Could you just not? <laughs> Which one are you? Are you the white one here? Oh wow, so both of my turtles are gonna are gonna be like white turtles. And the face. That's much better. It's gonna take a couple more because this one's technically mate boosted. But this is fine too. No. No running. You're down. <laughs> okay, we can't let you accidentally hit your friend there, so. I gotta take care of you. You gonna come back at me now? There we go. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I almost just used that. <laughs> Alright. Turtle, knocked out. Let's put the kibble that I got in here for now and go grab a couple more. Alright. That should do for the turtle. Hello, big guy. Very cool. Looking albino turtle. Very happy with this guy. I'm going to stop tracking that. Cool. Uh, what shall we name you, Mr. Sir? I'm going to name you Carlos. Carlos the Carbonimus. Thinking about trying to build something on this raft, by the way. That's why I built another one for the trap. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this one. Thinking of if I could try to make some sort of like little pirate looking ship. I think that'd be cool. And there's the female. I'm going to name her Bonnie. So we've got Carlos and Bonnie. Both are albino carbonemus turtles. All right. I don't think you can fit through this door. I think you might need to go through the... Well, maybe you can. Maybe you can. Yeah, you're good. All right. Let's put you in the water here right next to Carlos. Sweet. I'll worry about taking pictures in a minute. I just uh, am glad to have them tamed and brought into the walls. I'm going to go over and check on the metal real quick, considering uh, it has been quite a while and a lot has happened. I want to see how much metal has been made and see if that's still going. So where are we at? Ooh, that is a lot of metal cooked up. So yeah, sure enough, it does keep running even when I'm not here. Uh, I brought Leto with me, by the way, because I kind of want to scout out the water and see what we're dealing with. Like, I don't want to be underwater too long. I didn't bring a scuba set. Well, I'm not really going super deep at the moment, but uh, I don't think that on the direct path there is a lead sickness or anything too dangerous that I have to worry about if I were to bring a raft. Later. Whoa! That was very rude and scared the absolute crap out of me. You know what? I got him in the ball just in time. I mean, in the in the pod. It's not a poke. Okay. <laughs> also, how much polymer am I going to need to make one of these bows? Ooh, a lot. A lot, a lot. I'm going to have to make a trip over to the, to the penguins, too. There's also a big, big concern of the cementing paste. I definitely don't have that much cementing paste right now. I can go check a bunch of otters 
uh, not otters, but a bunch of beavers dams and try to find some, but uh, I don't think that's going to be, ca be the case. I may have to do this. I may have to craft one of these up on another time, but I definitely have the metal. There's no question about that. But I want to make one of those soon, and I'll use the crafting potion to make it. In fact, I'll try to make two. So I'll have to do a lot of material grinding between episodes. Okay, well here goes nothing. Let's take the turn and beeline straight for the forge. God, I hope nothing happens. <laughs> I'd rather just be able to get this back here. I get that there's the whole for the content thing, but... Um, I really just want this medal, and I want to bring it home safe. Yeah, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Not a big fan of this situation. That is for damn sure. Alright, so we're just going to take a quick lap around our platform. And before we take off, I'll tell it to pull all of the metal into the box. Let's pull the metal. Ingots, all of them, as many as it'll hold, which is actually, yeah, every single one that's made. Let's go back. Uh, oh, Lord, okay. I think as soon as I touch this island here, we should be in the clear. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're good now, but I'm still just feeling so tense about this whole thing. I mean, I know that, like, there is a chance that a lead sick this could spawn. I'm not going to stop because there's nothing really to grab now. Um, there is a chance that they could be spawned in this part of the, in the water. I can tell you for a fact that when I played this on ASE, they definitely attacked me, like, right in between this blue obelisk island and the mainland. But, I so far, and knock on wood on this, I have not run into one in there, and they've only been out... Like, those two that I ran into earlier in this episode are the only ones that I've seen. So, you know, I uh, think I'm going to take that as a, uh, as a win... And we'll just go from there. Honestly, that was a pretty nice and relaxing boat ride once we got out of that ocean. Not a single thing happened. We did have to go past the Spino, but it ended up on the beach, and I wasn't worried about it at all, so I didn't even worry about leaving it in. Well, we just we just got ourselves 10,000 metal in the uh, amount of time that that's just been running since we've done other things today, which is insane. I'm going to pull all of that up into the base here. We'll have access to it whenever we need it. Figured I may as well go and collect a bunch of organic polymer while I had a moment. I'll end up sealing up a barrel if I can get it full. So all those penguins on this island gave me, let's see, 500,000. So we got 1,500. I'm going to have to do that three more times to be able to even make one of these, uh, one of the bows that I'm after. You know what? You're a 140 penguin. I'll take you. I did mention that I wanted to uh, tame a couple penguins so we can at least start our own little farm at the base. May as well just, you know, take some baby ones home with me while I'm over here. Are you already free to take? No, one of your, your parents still around here somewhere. Is it you? 20? 30? 150? There's the male 130. Now we're good. <laughs> right? That was it, yeah. Uh, I only want the female, actually. Female one, put you in the cryopod. Oh no! <laughs> Mistakes were made. This also gives you an idea, though, how much less you get from your own. Because that was only 15 instead of, like, 130. Okay, well, I mean, ultimately, we are about halfway of what I'm going to need, ultimately, to make one of those bows. So I should probably take this back before we get any heavier than we already are. Oh my goodness, a 145 Baryonyx. Ooh, man. I need to make sure I come and tame this thing. So I'm going to be able to use up an entire barrel, I think, for about half of what I'm going to need. That's actually insane. So, let's see. The barrel can hold 40 slots if I can do the organic polymer. Let's grab all that I can. I mean, it can hold, it can hold 4,000 polymer. And we're going to seal this shut so that those will not spoil. 
Um, I'm gonna have to fill up all three of these to even consider making more than one of these bows. How much? How many slots are in a fabricator? Seventy. Oh boy. So the metal slot, the metal ingots will only take up five slots. So that makes forty-five slots. The cementing paste, though, how big are those stacks? So that's another ten slots. Okay. So that is doable then, technically. The polymer. Oh. So the polymer would take 61 slots. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not good. I may have to do a mixture of organic and actual polymer just to make that barely work. Because it'll be... That would be like 73 slots. And there's 70 in this thing. And I'm going to need one for the, uh, the blueprint. I also decided that we're going to go and tame that Baryonyx today. I think that we need to not hesitate on taming these certain things of uh, what happened to the otter. <laughs> so I'm making up some kibble right now, and then we're going to go secure that guy and make sure that we bring him home. Alright, so I actually have those all crafted up now. I only really needed the regular kibble, the one tier underneath this, but since I have pretty much the infinite supply of this one, this is the one we're going to go with. We are also... Gonna go over on Travis, our fluttery boy. We're just gonna hop right off of here and see if we can make it across the river. I'm sure that we probably can. If not, we'll land a little short. Bear should be like just on the other side of these rocks, if it's still in the same spot. Look for that orange with a blue couple stripes on its back. I wonder if we're back in the water. I definitely don't want to go into the water if that's where it's at. But I want to lure it out if that is the case. Oh, he's over there now. I see him over there. Let's get him. Come on. And pop. Please swim into that. He went the other way. I may have to cross the river. Oh, man. Still burning up over here. A little bit crazy. So we cleared that jump. Fantastic. Let's get loaded up over here. There should be no reason I miss him here. There we go. Come out of the water, please. I think it said it's only going to take me like four shots to knock him out. So he's already running after that anyway. There we go. And he's down. Very clean once I can actually hit him. <laughs> we don't want Travis to get mad and decide to attack him. So we're going to put those kibble in here. Dododex did say five, but I'd rather be safe than sorry on this one. So I don't believe anything should just decide to attack him for no reason. So if I get over to our base, I don't think I'll have anything to worry about. And I should be able to cool down as well, because I'm melting over here. We'll be able to just come over and grab our new friend. Barry's only got one more kibble to eat. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I should be able to get that sixth one back. So if we get over there and grab it out of his inventory before he eats it, then uh, we'll be able to keep it for the next day that we're after. Yoink. All right, got ourselves a 145 berry that is now 217. Since I really like the colors on this guy, and it kind of reminds me of Ernie, I'm gonna call him Ernie. That's his name. His name is Ernie now. Welcome, Ernie. I'm gonna put you in this cryopod, and we're gonna take you home. Not that we really have to go very far, but still. Okay, we have made it home yet again with one more new tame. Just gonna slowly flutter my way down. There we go. Now before I decide what we're gonna do, we still got another minute and 43 seconds. I think that that is doable. Okay, and here we are, the final pyromane that I'm going to show on this video. It is... That sounds very promising. That is a 2 to 8. That is insane. Come here, little one. Let's see what you've got in stats. 
So double checking the stats, it looks like that the only thing that this is off of is the one, I'm assuming either one or two points in melee. So I'm going to let this one grow up and then we'll breed this one with Mios. We'll most likely have our perfect pair at 229 or 230, which is actually really good. And I'm very happy about that. With that all being said, and these two having a well-deserved rest, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything to bring up about this series or another one that's going on on the channel, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.